this is Scott from Denver Comic Con TV. Today I am honored to be joined by Frankie Cerna. Frankie, uh, it's just an honor. I've always loved your artwork and I just want to know a little bit more about kind of where it came from. So okay. when did you start drawing? Uh, young. I was probably four or five when I actually picked up a pencil and started drawing. Just little doodles here and there. Star Wars was a big influence, so I used to draw little stick figures of, you know, the characters from Star Wars, the planes. And uh, my parents kind of saw that I was really interested in art, so they kind of enrolled me into a little art class. And I think it was probably about eight when I took that class. And then from there on, I just was always involved in art, and that's just what I wanted to do. And uh, went to college, uh, went to the Art Institute here in Denver. And after graduating, started doing graphic design, a lot of t-shirt design, and comic book work. Mm -hmm. So that's that's where we are today. I'm just the love of comics and and just sci-fi art. Um, I love Frank Frazetta is probably my biggest inspiration. And guys like that, the guys that really do the paintings and the you know the gritty barbarian stuff. And mm -hmm. I love that. So. No, and Spider-Man's. I love all that stuff too. The Wolverines, <laughs> the, the heroes. <laughs> no, I Frazetta had some great. Uh, he's influenced so many great artists, yes. and yes. you know, unfortunately, he's no longer here. But his daughters tour the country, yeah, and Frazetta girls, and they always bring everything that they can possibly find yeah. to the shows. So that kind of leads me to my next question: What kind of technique do you actually use in your art? Well, I actually start off with a good, solid drawing in pencil. I build uh, the the depth of it and kind of get the form, the shape, the shading and then from there I'll go with like a light wash of watercolor or acrylic mm -hmm. and a little bit of marker just to add little details and color and build a, a good structure first before I actually throw down a little bit of more paint, acrylic. Mm -hmm. And then from there I'll take it, if need be, like on this carnage piece here that's almost 100% painted, uh, maybe 2% digital and I'll scan the piece in after that and add a little bit more you know to the piece digitally well it does it really does make your artwork pop thank you and it's something very nice for the eyes even with all the different layers yeah. so what would be your ideal project to work on well currently I'm, I'm working on a wonderful project with HC uh, Edwards he's an, uh, a writer author and we're working on a, a project called Ambrosius Immortalis and so I'm currently illustrating that right now and it's going to be a graphic novel and we're going to actually debut the, the preview edition in San Diego in three weeks so that's uh, going to be look, excellent look forward to sharing the artwork for that here pretty quick so Definitely. So if people want to go through and follow you, how would they do that? Well, I have a website, FrankieCerna.com, CernaIllustration.com, and I'm on social media, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, uh, Cerna Illustration, or at the artist Cerna. Excellent. Frankie, thank you very much for stopping by. Thanks, Appreciate it.